Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I wanted to talk about an article that was just recently published in the journal Science about a carnivorous caterpillar. And I've talked about carnivorous caterpillars briefly on this channel before. There's only a handful of them, just a couple hundred species known worldwide. And that is out of several hundred thousand species of Lepidoptera known. But they do occur even though they are exceptionally hard to find. The species that was found was found in Hawaii, and the article is Hawaiian Caterpillar Patrols Spiderwebs Camouflaged in Insect Prey's Body Parts. There have been a number of articles published on this research article, a number of pop science articles, which I will uh, link in the description. But if you have a subscription to science or the AAAS uh, magazines, then you should be able to read this in its full context. This is the adult Lepidoptera here. It's a type of Cosmopterigid, which are generally very small, delicate, sort of uh, lacy winged or frilly winged Lepidoptera. Uh, frequently these moths are small and brown, small and gray, uh, but occasionally you'll get a few extremely colorful or heavily patterned ones. But in its larval stage, it looks like this. These are case bearing Lepidoptera, which aren't particularly uncommon, and there are other insects that do this as well, where they build cases from various debris in their environment with silk to hold everything together in order to protect them until they can pupate into adults. But this particular caterpillar collects the parts left over in spider's webs, and it actually lives in the spider web with a spider. Generally speaking, there is only one of these caterpillars per spider web because they will cannibalize each other but it will feed on the insects which are trapped in the web or it will feed on the leftovers that the spider leaves behind and then takes various body parts from the prey insects and incorporates it into its silk case for protection. And this protection is primar primarily aimed at preventing the spider from killing it. So not only does it get all of this extra chitin armor from all these dead insects into its silk case, but it also incorporates the scent of the spider into its case so that the spider doesn't realize it's there. And although spiders are visually oriented, usually they do have a, a whole slew of chemoreceptors, which this caterpillar uh, can sort of confuse for these purposes. Within these cases, there you can actually tell a number of body parts. So one of the articles had some of these labeled. So you have the fly leg, you have a bark beetle abdomen here, or realistically this, uh, what you're seeing here is the declivity of the end of the bark beetle. You have some fly wings, an ant head. This is a, a weevil head, some sort of entomine weevil. But if you go back to these collection of cases, you also see what appears to be some sort of elaterid wing maybe, uh, or some other sort of elongated beetle elytral wing. You have uh, what looks to be the the foramen magnum uh, at the back of the insect head. This is where the cervical sclerites would normally attach. This is the the uh, big hole that all the plumbing runs through at the back of the insect head. Uh, maybe some sort of anabeid abdomen here. Uh, not sure what this is, but it looks like a giant fang, but I'm not entirely sure. But they are not discriminatory. They'll take anything. And this is somewhat like uh, Trichoptera. Uh, if you are familiar with Trichoptera in freshwater systems, the the caddisflies, which build cases out of stone and other uh, debris within the river, Al although naturally they build things out of stone, pollutants and other things within the river will also be incorporated into their casing. So this guy will incorporate all sorts of things. This species was actually found many years ago, but it was assumed to be kind of a one-off, maybe a, caterp a case caterpillar just happened to be in a web. But actually, this is a whole slew of these found all around Oahu, which live this lifestyle of kind of courting death with the spider while also building cases out of dead body parts. So like I said, I'll link all of the articles in the description and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.